Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Potato Panda TV here today, and as you can see, I happened to, or I went to a local gaming store today, and they happened to still have some packs of Double Masters there, and this is definitely something more expensive than I probably will ever spend again as far as like a single pack of Magic cards goes, but um, I'm sure I've heard you can find them a little bit cheaper, but... Uh, after tax, this came out to like eighteen dollars and nine cents, I think it was. So, I think it was like sixteen fifty or like sixteen ninety five or something like that before tax. So, this is definitely something I probably won't. I mean, unless I run into some extra money or something, I probably won't be really buying any more any more packs of this. But I figured I. would just go ahead, and since I had a little bit of extra money to spend, I figured I'd kind of open, the, go ahead and buy a pack and see how, or see what it looks like, and so see what's in it. So I guess we'll go ahead and see what's in here. And I haven't really seen any car, bar, any brakes, or I haven't seen how these are laid out or anything, so I'm not sure if there looks like the... Probably just do what they do in the rare, probably put like the rares in the back. Hey, it looks like there's the rare. I don't know if they're, let's do one rare per box. Oh, I got, yeah, it's, uh, looks like at least two rares. So I'll put the, the rares in the back. And then let's see. Oh, it's a common, so I'll move that up to the front. So, this is our first common. So, it's a. Uh, it's a foil ostrich vandal. There's a orc warrior tap. There's a one or one colorless, one red tap. Sacrifice an artifact. Then he deals two damage to any target. And another, another foil. Executioner's Capsule with a one colorless one black you tap is sacrifice and destroy target non black creature. And our token is a an elf warrior. And we got a let's see a elf fierce empath when he enters the battlefield. Uh, you may search your library for a creature card with converted mana cost 6 or greater. Reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. So I don't know if I really have much use for that card, but, um, since I'm running, I got a released a red, black, white commander deck, so, um, skin brand, goblin, um... I don't know what Blood Rush is, but it's a uh, discard. This card target attacking creature gets plus two, plus one until end of turn. So I don't know why. You'd, uh, let's see. Oh, target target attack. So I guess I I was thinking that wrong. I thought that went to a an opponent's card, but that would, wouldn't make sense. Crushing vines. Choose one. Destroy target creature that's flying or destroy a target artifact. There's a fairy mechanist. So I could probably, I know I have a fairy death or fairy deck around somewhere. So I so could maybe put this in there. When you enter the battlefield, look at the top three cards of your library. You may reveal an artifact card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. And then we got a surge, no surge node. When he enters the battle, uh, he enters the battlefield with six charge counters on it. With one colorless, you tap, remove a charge counter from him, put a charge counter on a target artifact. I don't really know how to charge counter is, but uh, maybe I'll figure that out eventually. Skin gauntlets. Golem skin gauntlets. Um, 
Equipped creature gets one plus one plus zero for each equipment attached to it. Equipped with two colorless attached to target creature control. Equip only as a sorcery. And steel sabotage. Choose one counter target artifact spell or return target artifact to its counter its owner's hand. And this is the last common it looks like. Crib swap. Changeling. This card is every creature type. Exile target creature. Its controller creates a 1 1 colorless sharp sh shapeshifter creature token with sh changeling. And then we're into uncommons. And this is an artifact creature. Fire Summ Sphinx Summoner. When Sphinx Summoner enters the battlefield, you may search your library for an artifact creature card. Reveal it and put it into your hand. If you do so, shuffle your, your, your library. And then... This is... Obelite. When Obelite enters the battlefield, target creature... Phases out until it leaves the battlefield. Tap that creature as it phases in this way. Yeah, I don't know, it's kind of a weird card. And this is the last, I believe this is the last uncommon. Go, uh, co, cog work assembler, cog work assembler. He's an artifact creature assembly worker for... He's a three colorless to begin with, but with seven colorless, create a token that's a copy of target artifact. That token gains haste. Exile it at the beginning of your next end step. So those next two are are the rares. And you got Inkwell Leviathan. He's a, an artifact creature. He's got Island Walk and Trample Shroud. This creature can't be the target of spell or ability, spells or abilities. I don't know, I'll have to look that up. I'm not exactly sure what island wa or island walk is. And the second rare is a swift blade vindicator. Uh, he's a <laughs> he's got a one one, but he's got double strike. <laughs> so it's basically a two two. It's got a creature, human soldier, um, it's got yep, double strike, vigilance, and trample. So, uh, for an $18 car, uh, was about $17, $17 pre-tax, I really didn't get, I don't know, I probably didn't get my, I mean, I have to, I doubt these cards are really worth very much, but uh, I'll have to see if they're worth, uh, worth anything, but... I mean, I guess that's the part of the fun is potentially getting more valuable cards, but at the end of the day, you don't always win. But, I mean, I still got some, uh, some maybe cards I could use for decks, but I'm not really too sure yet. But I um, appreciate you taking the time to stop by, and hopefully I'll see you next time.